day 28 higher models now we know the basic models may can should have to these are used for the present or the future isn't it but how do you use these models in the past in the past also we can have these models we use the following simple rules may v1 becomes might have maybe becomes might have been can v1 becomes could have v3 v3 be careful you have to with could have you have to use v3 can be becomes could have been should v1 becomes should have v3 maybe becomes should be becomes should have been note be careful to always use the third form of the verb for models in the past also when the verb is not there add been you understand so when the models go in the past like you are regretting you know like last yesterday you wrote an exam and you didn't write well and you 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 tell your friend i should have prepared you can't say i should prepare i should prepare will be for the present or the future but i should have prepared uh, is v3 now suppose in should have there is no verb then what do we what is added should have been now the examples make it very clear he might have gone to the station probability he might have been in the station no verb so might have been you should have studied harder duty you should have been studious you could have helped him ability in the past you could have been helpful is it clear so follow the follow the golden rule when the verb is there use the third form when there is no verb use been for higher models there is models in the past so should becomes should have should be becomes should have been may becomes might have maybe becomes might have been can becomes could have can be becomes could have been and with each of these if the verb is there you put the third form now let's do an activity a man is remembering his life and he feels the following of how things should have been use the following clues and you have to use either should have v3 or should have been so first one is i should have rich or i should have been rich which one should we use rich is not a verb there is no verb in this sentence so the right answer would be i should have been rich second i study hard in the past i should have studied hard third i should have married early because marry is a verb so you you, you say should have i should have taken take took taken v3 remember you should put v3 for should have i should have taken a government job fifth one i should have been hard working hard working is not a verb it's an adjective so i should have been hard working sixth one i should not have wasted so much time in youth i should not have wasted so much time in youth seventh one i should not ah so the seventh one is i not make bad friends so i should not have made bad friends eighth one i should not have got the habit of smoking ninth one i should have gone abroad tenth one i should not have spent so much money spent 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 eleventh i should have bought a house twelfth now twelfth is i better father there is no verb there so will we get should have or should have been yes we will get should have been i should have been a better father so now you understand should have is used for should only but when the should goes in the past it's no longer should it becomes should have with v3 and when there is no verb in the past and there is a concept of should it becomes should have been i should have been rich i should have been there yesterday i should have enjoyed the party i should have gone to the party i should have studied harder so on and so forth so now you can make 10 sentences which should have v3 and 10 which should have been and it will become very clear to you and even the others might have might have been could have could have been i hope you enjoyed the program thank you